Good morning, guys. It is Kelly and Crystal, and we are so excited to uh, to be here for another week of Learn to Blog Hangouts. We've kind of gone to a schedule where we're doing every other week now, and as Kelly would say, this is our other week where we are. <laughs> she has to remind me. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the other week. It is time to do a hangout. Um, anyway, I am Crystal Van Tassel, Dallas Mom Blogger at CrystalandComp.com, where I have been blogging for a long time. I think it's either seven or eight years. It's been a long time. Um, but Kelly's been blogging even longer, so she's really a dinosaur. But anyway, um, I share mommy resources and solutions, and uh, we, I, we write over there every single day. Uh, just recently, my husband and I have started a podcast together where we um, share, it's just kind of a spinoff of the blog. You know, the blog is about mommy resources and solutions. The podcast is about real life solutions, so family related stuff. Um, you know, we're going to cover homeschool topics and we've talked about budgeting and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so Kelly and I for 80 plus weeks have done these hangouts over on learn to blog hangouts with an s.com. Go to the new start here tab and you will find a list of all of our videos. We have, um, I think we're at 85, this is 86. And uh, if you are new to blogging, trying to really figure out the ropes and figure out how to make blogging work for you, those videos, we walk you through social media, through setting up a blog post, through everything. Um, and then we also have a VIP forum where we, uh, for $7.99 a month, we give you actionable tasks and challenges to help you g deliberately grow your blog. Um, and we also just, you know, it's a community of, there's over 2,000 something posts over there of people just sharing what's working for them, what's not working for them, what their goals are. Kelly and I chime in and say, well, to achieve that goal, have you considered this? And it's an open forum for whoever's a VIP member. You can see the things that people are doing that's working, that's bringing them money, that's helping them grow. Um, Kelly's done a lot of, of uh, challenges over there, step-by-step -step challenges. Day one, do this. Day two, do that. We've got lots of videos showing you how to use things. Um, really, really useful information. It will really take you to the next level and help you make money from your from your website. So, all right, Kelly. Kelly's not feeling too good this morning. Um, and I said, please, just still come, please. <laughs> so here she is. She's not feeling good, but introduce yourself, Kelly. Hi, guys. I'm Kelly, <clears throat> and I blog at threeboysandadog.com. I blog about homeschooling and homemaking tips for busy folks. I've been blogging, yeah, for a really long time, what, November 2006, so somebody else do the math because I have no idea. That's nine um, years. Almost. Oh, my gosh. You yeah, old. that's crazy. <laughs> you old woman. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, wow, that's a really long time. Anyway, so that's me. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I really don't feel good. I was actually asleep, and then my cell phone went off, and I was like, "Oh, Crystal's inviting me to this hangout that I'm supposed to be at." So <laughs> I jumped straight up and. And came to my computer, and here I am. <laughs> well, and I, t I messaged her, and I said, I need your dialogue. You have to be there. And it made no sense to her. She's like, huh? What? You know, dialogue, Kelly. Like, I need interaction. I can't just sit there by myself in a hangout. I mean, I could, but I prefer <laughs> not to. She's like, what's dialogue, huh? Anyway, it was pretty funny. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? I said, don't be mean to me, I'm sick. No, I'm not being mean to you. What are you taking? Are you trying anything? No. Like you're not taking medicine? No. Nope. Like sinus medicine? Yeah. Because it's like sinus pain. Okay. Okay, good. Well, okay. All right, go ahead. What were you going to say? Speak. So let's, let's get this hangout done. Okay. Let's give them some information. And some actionable tasks, and let me go back to bed. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, this is a topic that I have been talking to Kelly about, and for a while I've been saying we really need to do a hangout about this. Um, and then before I could even get, yesterday morning we talked and agreed that this would be our hangout, encouraging bloggers to offer products on their site as another way to make money. And then, interestingly enough, 
by evening time, there was a thread started in the Learn to Blog Facebook group, which if you're not a member over there, you should be. That's a great place um, to just chat and we offer Monday, Wednesday, Friday social media promotion days and just <clears throat> a great way to get to know other bloggers. But somebody started a thread with selling products on their blog and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what we're talking about tomorrow. <laughs> Hold on. So <clears throat> I hadn't even gotten it set up yet in Google Plus running very behind. But you know, People are, there are so many different ways to make money from your blog. You know, you've got your, your ad networks, you've got your sponsored posts, um, there's lots of things, and then there's offering products. And I kind of throw a lot of stuff into the offering product pile and, or category, and um, you may see some of it a little bit differently, but in some of these topics we've covered in the past, but I do want to talk about um, just different products and things that you can offer on your blog <clears throat> to make, to help supplement your income even more. Kelly and I are very big on telling you guys not to put all your blogging eggs in one basket. You do not want to count on all of your traffic coming from one place. You do not want to count on all of your money and profits coming from one place. Don't you agree, Kelly? Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, number one, the first thing that I encourage you to do, if you haven't done it already, is to set up an a, um, Amazon affiliate. And so this is a way to offer products. Um, it is it's an affiliate program. Anything that's available on Amazon to buy, you can go in and get a direct link to that actual product so that you can share it with your readers. Now there's lots of ways that you can share it with your readers, okay? Number one, they have ads that you can put in your sidebar or in your header or wherever. Um, you can also, um, within blog posts, link to the things that you're using. So, and I want you to think of it this way. Even if you're like, okay, everybody knows what Rotel tomatoes are, and when you do your recipe, you're, you know, you're linking to these different products and items, and you're thinking to yourself that everyone in the world knows what Rotel tomatoes are, they don't. Because let me tell you, I have gotten many emails from people on the other side of the globe who say, what's Cool Whip? Or, what's Rotel? I mean, I'm in Texas. I think everybody knows what Rotel is. You put that in everything. You put it in your enchiladas. You put it in your soups. You put it in your, you put it in everything. Put it over chicken. Pop it in the oven. Whatever. But everybody doesn't know what Rotel is. So, anytime I'm doing a craft, anytime I'm doing a recipe, um, I love to do like roundups of books for kids. Anything, anytime that I want someone to look at a product, I will do, I will add links from Amazon to those products within my blog post. Now here's the thing. So when somebody clicks on that, they may not buy that exact, that exact item that you link to and that's okay. What happens with Amazon is for 24 hours, your cookie is in their computer as long as they don't click on anyone else's cookie. So it doesn't matter what they buy for the next 24 hours, you will get affiliate credit for their products as long as the cookie's still in your computer and they haven't clicked on someone else's affiliate link. So if you are constantly, when you do a craft and you show out your supplies and you're linking to contact paper and pom-poms and glitter, even if it's glitter, you're like, everybody knows what glitter is. Okay, but they want to know what kind of glitter you use or what kind of glitter you suggest. Link to that stuff. It is, you can easily make $100 to $200 a month off of Amazon affiliate stuff. And a lot of people have said um, in different comment places the last couple of days that I'm not making much money off of Amazon. Okay, you can't expect to just link to it once in one blog post and make $200. This needs to become a habit of yours. This needs to become something that you're consistently doing. Kelly, I know you're dying to add to this conversation. What would you like to say about Amazon affiliates? Um, nothing really. Make sure when you're, <laughs> yeah, like Crystal said, make sure you're linking. You really need to be linking with an Amazon link at least once every single day. Every single day. Amazon only has a 24-hour cookie. You need your readers to click every 24 hours so that anything they buy you get credit for. Um, like she said, it's very easy to just put it in your blog posts very organically. But you can also do it on Facebook. Right. Um, I was trying to pull it up real quick because I know a lot of people have been asking 
how do you get that little short link? I keep seeing everybody's little short link on Amazon or Amazon link. How do you get that? So I was trying to pull up Amazon so I could do a um, a screen share and show you, but my internet is really just dragging. That might be something I'm going to have to put in in the forum. Um, forum. We'll, well see. Can, oh. I, oh, go ahead. While you're looking for that. I think I got it. Okay, can I say something real quick while you're looking for that? Yeah. Okay, so two things. We have a video over on the forum that talks about and, and goes over with you exactly. If you're not sure that you're handling the Amazon affiliate stuff properly, you're not sure where to pull your link from or how to do all of that, um, we have a video over in the forum where I screen shared and showed you step by step how to do all of that. So. Um, we can share a link to that. You do have to be a member of the VIP section, so that means you're paying $7.99 a month for that content over there, but step-by-step step makes it easy breezy. And like Kelly said, yes, share this stuff on Facebook as well because, you know, share, upload one of the pictures that they have on Facebook and say, you know, look at this dog squeaky toy that only the dog can hear and nobody, how crazy is that? Like, try to start up a conversation about it. Or, you know, if you have a child who's struggling with bedwetting, here is the, I've had a lot of readers buy this product for, you know, it's a bedwetting alarm that goes on, that goes on their mattress or whatever. Look at, and I show you in the video how to look at what people are buying so that you can continue to offer the items that your readers are buying um, and kind of go off of that. But you can also use Bitly to make your small link as well. You don't want to put a link in that takes up three rows of your uh, content area over on Facebook. So the short link, Kelly, I'll show you another way to do short links. Go ahead, Kelly. Let's see. Hopefully you can see my screen. Not yet. I don't see it yet. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. Black screen. Do you okay. see it? Yep. Okay. So first of all, you want to make sure you're signed in and you want to go to affiliate-program.amazon.com. You're going to go to just the homepage, Amazon Associates homepage, which is what you should see right here. You can either search for whatever product you're wanting. So let's say we want shamrocks. You know. You get all these little things right here, right? You don't have to go to Amazon.com and then use your little stripe. You can, but if you do it this way, see this little drop down arrow right here? Yes, ma'am. Shorten link. There you go. So smart, Kelly. So you don't push the yellow. You push the little drop down area. Click this little thing that says shorten URL, and there's your link to use for Facebook or Twitter or whatever without having your huge HTML. Ta-da. Ta-da. How awesome is that? You are so, so smart. Something else for the Amazon stuff, we do, Kelly and I both do a daily deal. So I have a blog post that's dedicated just to a daily deal that um, that shows, you know, here's a product that's on sale today only. And I show you in the video how I find, how we find our daily deals. Actually, I have a VA that handles that for me now, but um, it's the process and how she finds the daily deal. Because there is an area on Amazon that shows you for the next 12 hours this is on sale or you know, for the next two days, this is on sale, whatever. So dedicated blog posts to items, sharing it on social media, linking to the items within your blog post, whether it's recipe items, craft items, you know, what have you. Get those cookies in your computer so that even two years from now, when they're reading that post, if that item is still not available, they're still clicking through and getting over to Amazon and that your cookies in their computer and now anything that they buy for the next 24 hours as long as they don't click on someone else's cookie is yours. And the way that Amazon works is at the first of the month you start at a certain percentage rate of affiliate dollars and then as you sell items it continues to grow. So by the sixth day of the month you could be making, you know, 7% instead of 6%. Right, exactly. Exactly, which really, really, really starts to add up. Okay, anything else you want to add about Amazon, Kelly? Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is creating your own products to sell. Okay, so this would be writing ebooks, and you know, you sell the ebook whether you're using eJunkie to facilitate that or throwing it over on Amazon and 
that's really easy because then you don't have to worry about paying your affiliates. Amazon pays your affiliates. And Amazon's a huge search engine itself. So you've got your product, your name, your information in that, um, in that search engine or in that database, what have you, whatever you want to call it, in that system. <coughs> so we actually, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, we had on Amanda White from oamanda.com, who is the author of the huge Christmas time book, um, Truth in the Tinsel. And she actually wrote her ebook, Truth in the Tinsel, makes her a full time income. Like, I'm not just saying, full-time as if you were making $9 an hour full-time. I'm saying like a corporate America job full-time income. And she makes her money from like November through December. And now she also has an Easter resurrection book that's out. Um, but I want you, if you feel like you have information that you could put into an ebook, um, I want you to really consider doing that. And actually, I know a blogger who has a couple of ebooks out there. It's um, Dana White, who is known also as Nani uh, from A Slob Comes Clean, she has two or three ebooks out there about helping you deslobify your life. That's what she calls it, de the deslobification process. Um, but then what she's done is she has taken her blog post. So all of your one is downloaded into an ebook. All of your two is downloaded into an ebook. So they can get the content for free on her site or they can download it for five bucks or eight bucks and get an entire year delivered to their Kindle or their, their e-reader. So understand that just because that's not something that you would be interested in, you have readers that would be interested in that because it's an easier way for them to read your content. So think outside the box. You don't always have to be doing what everyone else is doing. She's a prime example to me of someone who thinks outside the box all the time and finds other ways to, um, to make this space work for her. So we will also share the link to um, over in the event page to the uh, hangout that we did with Amanda White about selling ebooks. Um, I've got a couple of other products I was going to talk about, Kelly, but is there anything else you want to add about ebooks? Um, no, I don't have one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you should. I've been telling you for a long time. You've been working on one for a long time. I've been working on two for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I get bored with it. I know you do. I know you do. I understand. Okay, so other products that you can make yourself and offer on your site is printables. Um, one blogger that comes to mind, two bloggers, a couple of bloggers that come to mind that are doing a great job with this. So they also um, use other sites like Teachers Paying Teachers to kind of, I, I believe that that's where each of these ladies kind of started or, and then and then eventually it turned into their blogs, but like Vanessa from preschool or pre-k pages.com and Cassie from Three Dinosaurs and I believe Jill from Enchanted Homeschooling Mom is the same way, but they offer, Jill does more of a membership site, so she, she sells her site as a membership, a section of her site is a membership, so that is essentially a product in my mind that you're offering to your readers. You're selling a membership to an exclusive section of your site. Um, she may sell printables too, I can't remember, but Cassie and Vanessa have, you know, they actually sell some of the printables that they make. So a certain amount of the printables are available for free on their blog, and then another section of their printables, you know, you can get the next level by paying $2.99 or $4.99 or $1.99, whatever it is, to get the additional curriculum pack or what have you of the products. And they may also use Teacher Pay Teachers to, um, to help facilitate some of that uh, revenue and that process for selling those. But you can easily add, and those are ladies who are doing an excellent job, excellent job at thinking outside the box and finding a way to make money for them successfully in this space. So you can also, you don't have to use something like Teachers Pay Teachers. You can actually add a cart to your, to your blog. There are plugins that will allow you to do that so that you can sell your item easily to your readers. Um, Kelly and I have talked about ways to ways to do that as well, and it's just another thing that's on our list that, you know, when I first purchased Publisher, the way that I was going to make my money back was I wanted to be able to offer printables to my readers for sale, um, and I just 
all I've done is offered free ones. But Kelly, do you still have plans of offering printables that people can purchase? Yeah, yeah, I do. I just really like to be able to give those printables away. So I know. Yep, I understand. Okay, so also if you're a person who offers a service, so I'm thinking of someone like Alyssa Avant, who is from Life for My Laptop. She offers VA services. She offers uh, Megan Teeny. Is that how you say her last name? Tenny Teeny. Um, both of them offer um, like they'll transfer you from Blogger to WordPress. Um, there's a blogger who. Um, Alicia, I believe is how you say her name. She offers Linky Party packages, but all of those things, those are your, those are things that you're offering. Those are services that you're offering. So have a section on your website that 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 itemizes and shares what these services are that you offer. That is, I mean, essentially, that is a product that you're offering. That is your service that you're offering to people, so that you can make revenue um, either you're making revenue until you can get your blog going further and that's the you're taking those profits and putting them as much as you can into your website so that you can get it to the next level um, think outside the box guys the a couple of about a month ago we had Tiffany Romero from sits on she's also part of massive sway and she said over and over again find a way to make money in this space and it doesn't have to be the same way that everyone else is making money in this space Find your way to do that. Kelly, do you want to talk about, do you have anything to add to that? Any other services that someone could offer? Um, editing? I wasn't listening, so I don't know what all you said. I know you aren't. Editing, that's a good one. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Writing? Mm -hmm. There are bloggers that are always hiring bloggers. They don't want They don't want to hire somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. They want to hire somebody that already does it. So, you know, think about that. There are people that um, that need deals posted or that need, like you said, the linky ladies, um, the VAs, the whatever. I don't even know what you said because I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. You're fine. Alyssa said, are you asleep, Kelly? <laughs> Kelly does not feel good. She does not feel good at all. But, no, you're right. Um you know, offering, just putting it out there so that the other bloggers do want to hire bloggers because the bloggers know, you know, it's really difficult to have to train someone from the ground up, someone who knows nothing about the blogging world. So if you're wanting to make money helping other bloggers, create a page on your site so that you can refer, so that number one, when you're in a Facebook group saying yes, I offer that service and someone says, do you have a page where I can read about what your pricing is, what your process is, exactly what you offer? You want to be able to have a place that you can refer them to. But also, when people are on your site, you never know what they're going to dig into and read. And for them to find your page that says that you offer editing for eBooks and for blog posts and, and whatever, oh my goodness, that is valuable. You know, once a blogger reaches a certain point, there are some bloggers who right out of the gate have an editor. But others, once you reach a certain point, you, you really do need to bring an editor in who can help you. Um, you always want to make sure that the content that you're pushing out is pristine and is grammatically correct and well written because the more pages you're getting and the more exposure that you're getting, the more likely it is that PR agencies and brands and, you know, big companies are looking at what you're presenting. And if it's, you know, if it's not written well, how likely are they to want to partner with you um, for sponsorships? So, okay. Um, there were a couple of questions or a couple of statements that came through. Jody says, Jody is over at Growing Book by Book, and she says, sharing links on Facebook in the evening or late night works really well for me. So what she's doing is she's paying attention to her insights on Facebook, and she's paying attention to the times that she's posting to see exactly what is giving her conversions. So that is what we need to be doing. We have to pay attention to what's converting and what's not until we find what works and then you continue to repeat that. So good for you, Jody, for knowing what's working and and what um, and honing in on that and repeating it. And here's the thing. 
brands are wanting conversions. And I hear this more and more as we talk to, you know, Jill from Mom It Forward and Tiffany Romero from uh, Massive Sway. And, you know, as we talk to these different uh, companies who are partnering and connecting the blogger and the brand together, they are saying that more and more what brands are focused on is they want conversions. And they're not going to continue to partner with blogs that cannot provide conversions. So part of what we're doing here by offering ebooks, by offering services, by offering products, by offering affiliate links, and the other things that we're going to talk about, we are teaching our readers how to click and how to convert into a sale how to convert something into a profit for, for us. And it's the same thing when you're partnering with a brand. They want to know that you're going to be able to provide them with a conversion, that they're going to either gain Facebook followers, whatever that call to action is, they are going to get a conversion for that. And offering affiliates and direct sales and things of that nature on your blog are the perfect way for you to start training yourself on how to get those conversions, for you to start training your readers on how to make those conversions so that you can continue to grow your relationships with brands who want conversions and want to put their product in front of your readers. Um, do you agree, Kelly? Yes, I do. And we had a question. All right, go ahead. Um, Elisa wants to know, do you think putting the price is necessary for services? I think yes and no. I think that you absolutely should come up with some most popular packages type things and put that on your page. But, I mean, I would list out every single thing you, you can do and how much it's going to cost. I would do a um, contact for customized pricing or whatever it's called that a lot of people do. What do you think, Crystal? I don't, okay, personally, I mean, let me just say this real quick, because personally, if I go to your site and there's not one single price, I'm not even contacting you. I'm moving on. There's a million fish in the sea. Yeah. I want a base. I want to know that if I get you to run my Facebook page, it's going to cost me somewhere between 10 and $20 an hour as opposed to somewhere between 60 and $80 an hour. Right. Right. Well, because, you know, I don't know. Right. Because I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my time. And if I if you have no prices on your site, number one, if you have no prices listed on your site, that tells me it's a big secret because it's overpriced or you're worried that it's overpriced. And so I am I'm gonna just think that you're probably high on your prices and that's why you're not sharing. Number two, by seeing the price, I know that I'm not wasting your time if I engage with you. Because I can, what Kelly said, I don't want to get, you know, a week worth into email back and forth, back and forth, just to find out that you're so far out of my price range that I have to sell an organ in order, I mean, like, I don't want to have to, I want to know that I can afford your services. And I don't want to waste your time to get to that place where you say, okay, you know, where we come to an agreement. So, but like, I mean, think about it this way. When you're selling an ebook, you let them know right off the bat what that ebook price is. Um, and you can just start with your base packages. If you're selling, um, you know, like blog transfers from web from Blogger to WordPress or, or start. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Just so that we kind of know where we stand and if, if we're speaking the same language. Because if you charge $200 to do that, and honestly, I could get, transfer from Blogger to WordPress for free by going with this host, then I don't even have to really engage in much conversation with you and waste your time to see that that's out of my price range or what have you, you know. I do think that you should at least share your baseline pricing. You don't have to come out of the gate sharing your most expensive packages, but start with a place so that people understand if you're, if, if you're in their price range, if they can afford you. Um, Let's see, what else do we have here? Mitzi says, so very true, she's talking about when we were talking about Amazon affiliates. She says, every little bit counts, so be consistent, and just getting them over to Amazon helps. That is very correct. Oftentimes, when I check what my readers purchased, it is not always what I promoted. That's exactly right, Mitzi. So you want to go in, and I show you in the video over on the VIP forum how to see what people are actually buying. And then from there, you can see what kind of products to, you know, maybe I need to start offering these products or just understand that, like when I promote a Melissa and Doug item, 
in my daily deal over on my blog, I may not sell that exact, I may not sell the Melissa and Doug sushi kit that I promoted, but I did sell three or four of the things that were at the bottom of the screen as things that other people also bought. So it's a learning resource item, it's the Melissa and Doug crayons or the do -a dot whatever. So, you know, start to evaluate and understand your reader's purchasing habits. Just pay attention to that. And also, like Mitzi said, the more you link, the more likely you are to have conversions. So, you know, at back to school time, do a roundup list of 25 top school supply resources to buy online and just link to the glue sticks, the pencils, the erasers, the folders, whatever. Okay, right now at this season, what is something that you can make a list that's relevant to this current season? You know, at Christmas time, maybe it's a list of 25 stocking stuffers for boys or, um, you know, what have you. Just figure out ways to really hone in on what your audience is wanting and then evaluate the process, evaluate the results, see if you're getting conversions and then continue to grow from there. Anything else you want to add to that, Kelly? Yeah, one thing I want to say, we tell you to not put all your eggs in one basket, but you have to learn each item, each thing, whether it's an ebook that has to be written or whether it's a, um, a service that needs to be marketed or whether it's affiliate links that need to have posts written around them or whether it's direct sales things that need posts written around them. Whatever it is, you have to learn it. Don't sit there and go, okay, let me write all these down and then the hangout's over so I'm fixing to go sell all this stuff. Don't do that. You're going to overwhelm yourself. You're going to overwhelm your reader. Pick one, spend a month or two on it, then add in the next one. Spend a month or two on it, then add in the next one. Or, or reach your goal. Okay, I want to make $100 a month with this. Once I reach $100 a month with this, then I want to make $100 a month with this as well. And then I want to make $100 a month with this as well. And just keep going that way. Yep. Absolutely. So Megan has confirmed for me that the, cor the correct pronunciation of her last name is 10E, like the number 10 and an E. I will, I am such a visual learner, Megan, I will never forget that. In my head, I will always see you as the number 10 and E. So thank you so much for, um, for sharing, for saying that and sharing that because now I'll always remember. Uh, Rana or Rona shared and she says that this is a very informative segment and she thanks us, Kelly, and we're just so happy that this is something that you are learning from and that we're sharing information that can help you. Uh, Natasha Johnson has said she's actually one of our previous class attendees from our SEO class that we offer. She says, I use my blog as a resume for some children classes that I teach. Money can be made from your blog outside of your blog in your community. You are exactly right. Good for you. That is exactly right. Um, let's see. We already answered that question. Megan says, I publish a free list of all the places where you can make money as a blogger. And I've seen that list. It's a very good list. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I created a spreadsheet to keep track of all those companies. And I sell it on my site for $3. It's not much money per sale. But it's all set up with PayPal and MailChimp for auto delivery, which is free. So there's zero maintenance and almost no customer support. Set it and forget it. That's exactly right. That is so, so smart. I love that. Okay, so we're pretty much at the end of our 30 minutes, but there's one more way that I wanted to add um, that you can make money on your, that you can make money by selling products, and that is with direct sales. So back in May of last year, May of 2014, I um, became very interested in essential oils for myself, not as a way to sell on my blog. And um, I bought the, the kit, the $100, $150 kit that you start off with, and you automatically get um, the ability to be able to share at a multi-marketing level, you know, sharing links so that you can make money potentially off of those products. And at first I was like, yeah, I'm not interested in doing that. I don't want to push that on my readers. But then I'm like, wait a minute. I'm pushing this. I'm pushing Amazon. I'm pushing, you know, when a company contacts me and says we have this coupon, I'm pushing that. Why wouldn't I share essential oils? So I started working naturally their products into blog posts. So I would make 
Play-Doh and show how I made a sensory type Play-Doh out of, you, you know, and, and incorporated the essential oils. Or I inc made a recipe and showed how I cooked with it. Or, you know, what have you. I dedicated a landing page to those products. And as long as I'm writing about it and, and linking to it, I make money off of doing that. As long as I'm giving it attention, I'm making money from it. Um, so by doing that and doing well with it, oh, do you have feedback? Yeah, I did. It was weird. It's not on your end or mine. Um, me. Hang on. Now it's gone, so maybe it's okay. But basically, this is what I want you to think about. As a blogger, you're an influencer. When Oreo connects with you, when Kashi connects with you, um, whatever the brand is, when they're connecting with you, they want conversions from you and they want to know that you can influence your audience to, uh, to buy their product and to understand how their, how their product fits into your life. So why wouldn't you find other products that you can sell to do that with? Why wouldn't you? So from there, when I started seeing success with Young Living, and I'm not having, you know, some bloggers are like, making ungodly amounts of money off of you know essential oils and other things I'm not doing that I'm not pushing it as much but there are people who are making more money now off of the products that they're selling on their blog than they are making off of the ad networks from their blog it can be done you have to nurture it you have to give it attention you have to have a plan but it can be done but from there I thought you know what I love Jamberry Mel Wraps why can't I start offering their products on my site too they have ads that I can stick that I've got the affiliate links you know I've got I have communities built within each social media platform so I can take pictures of how cute my nails are and then share them and then I've done the same thing with Usborn I'm starting to build there as well I have no desire at this point to build a team of a hundred people or whatever it's truly about through the books that we use and I want to share them with my readers. I want to share how you can incorporate these books into your homeschool day. I don't plan on getting rich off of any of those uh, direct sell products, but if I can sit here and use my blog to promote Amazon stuff, and if I can sit here and use my blog to promote all of these other third party brands that partner with me for sponsorships, why couldn't I also offer direct sell products that I can control how I'm presenting it to the reader? You know what I mean? I think that it's a win-win. I really do. So I also encourage you to look into, that's another way to offer products to your readers. Um, you know, it's another way, just like with the books, my plan is to sit down and make videos of each book. Then I'll have a YouTube video. Then I can also link that YouTube video to each post. Like, I have tons of ideas of how I want to do this. Do I plan to be a millionaire off of us born books? No, I do not. But it is a resource that I can offer my readers, and in turn, I can benefit as well. And it's a resource that I believe in that I can offer to my readers because I use it every day in my homeschooling. So just think outside the box. I want you to find a way to make money in this space, and that is one way to do it. I want you to think outside the box. Kelly, anything else you want to add? No, oh, ma'am. And hey, don't feel like you have to do it forever. Yeah. I mean, I've told you before. I used to VA strictly so that I could pay for the things that I wanted on my site. Um, I went through a period where I was selling printables. I made printables for folks. I mean, I only charged five dollars a piece, and they could put their own name on them. So That's right. you used so to make could, all my printables. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kelly used to make all my printables. Yep. She sure did. You did such a good job, Kelly. <laughs> but it's Sorry. right. Think outside the box. Period. You can do it just long enough to reach your goal. If you're trying to save $199 so that you can take the Learn to Vlog course, <laughs> how right. many things do you need to sell to get that? I mean, right. you got it. And actually, speaking of the Learn to Vlog course, we still have three spots open. Our class starts on Monday. If you are looking to develop an SEO plan, that is what we do for you. Our class is very customized. We are available. It is a live class. Every Monday for four weeks, we come on. You connect with us online using a login information. Um, we share our screen and we walk you through. It's an hour-long class every Monday. Sometimes it goes a little longer because I just can't stop talking. <laughs> when Kelly runs the class by herself, she's like, oh, this went really fast. Crystal wasn't here. Um, but we, we, we hold your hand and walk you through um, and we transparently share exactly what we're using and what we're doing 
in our blogs and in our world. We teach you how to use webmaster tools to, de to decipher and see what the search engines are already sending you traffic for. And then Kelly and I work together and create a customized SEO plan for you. So we actually email you. These will be your landing pages. These are the blog posts that you should work on. It is a customized plan deliberately created for you. Um, if you can't make it to the class, there's a recorded version of the class. So say that you miss one week, no problem. You get a recorded version. You can listen to it back as many times as you need to over and over again, even after the class. So in six months, if you feel like you need to refresh, go back and listen to all of the videos again. You'll always have access to them as long as you're not sharing them with, with anyone else. And then we also do a site critique for you. It's $199. It is, um, I can't tell you how many people over and over again come to us and say, and we actually over on learntoblockhangouts.com, there's a place to sign up for the class. There's an application process. We just require that you are a WordPress blog and that you have webmaster tools set up. And there is a testimonial area where people can tell you. I mean, bloggers who already had 500,000 page views a month and took our class, bloggers who had 2,000 page views a month and took our class, and they have, you know, within a month of the class ending, they've seen 50% increase in their organic Google search or organic referral traffic within their Google Analytics. Some of people have seen 200% increase in their results. If you apply what we teach you, you will grow. You will see results. So if your kids are on spring break next week when class starts and you can't make it live next week, understand it is recorded and you can always watch it back. Um, but hurry because we only have three spots left and we will be ready to start on Monday. And the classes are at 10 a.m. Central Time on Mondays. So um, we would love to have you guys. Anyway, we'll continue the conversation. We've got tons of stuff over on the forum about affiliate stuff. Kelly just went through this morning and you sent me like five or six different links to threads and conversations about Amazon or whatever kind of affiliate uh, marketing that we have conversations about over on the forum. So we'll continue these conversations there. Um, if you have any questions, we'll check back the event page and answer them there too. And then otherwise, we will also see you over on the Learn to Blog Facebook page. Kelly, any final thoughts that you want to add? Nope. All right. Go back to bed. Get some rest. And uh, you guys have an awesome week. Go do something amazing on your blog, and we are here to help you. And we thank you for trusting us and for always tuning in to hear what we have to say. Bye, guys. Have a great week. See you later.